Okay, I'm going to call the meeting to order. It's 6 p.m. Uh, we'll start with the prayer, then the pledge. Heavenly Father, we just come to you just to thank you for the village that we live in. and uh, It's just a great community. We pray for our citizens. Um, we pray for our country. We just pray that the men and women around this table make the right decision that's right for our community. In all these things I pray. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome, everybody. Roll call. Marth. Here. Bassett. Here. Beverly. Here. Ridgeway. Present. Martin. Here. Flipper. Here. Okay, we're going to have the swearing in for our new officer. Everybody get the meter. Uh, Chief's going to come up with her. Oh, excuse me. I, Sierra, swear. Do solemnly swear that I will support. Do solemnly swear I will support. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. And the ordinances of the Village of Hicksville. And the ordinances of the Village of Hicksville. Defiance County, Ohio. Defiance County, Ohio. I will well and truly serve. I will. Well, well. Really <laughs> serve the village of Hicksville <laughs> as a police officer. As a police officer. Without favor. Without favor. Or affection. Or affection. Malice. Malice. Or ill will. Or, or ill will. That I will see. That I will see. Or cause. Or cause. Our community's peace. Our community's peace. To be kept. To be kept. And preserved. And preserved. That I will prevent, that I will prevent to, the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, all offenses against that peace. All offenses against that peace. And that, and that while I continue, while I continue to be a police officer, to be a police officer, discharge all duties, discharge all duties thereof, thereof, faithfully, faithfully, according to the law. According to the law. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. <laughs> Welcome aboard. Okay, uh, next on the agenda is Dave Ushbaugh here. I, I do not see think they're him. Be here. They're not going to make it? No. Okay. Um, Kara Porter from Defiance County Library System. You go up to the podium, please. Do that or can I just no, you're fine. It? Okay, good. <laughs> um, my name is Kara Potter. I'm the uh, director of the Defiance Public Library System. So Johnson Memorial Library is one of our branches. And um, so I wanted, I approached, um, so one of our trustees, Susan Mack, um, and talked to her about a project that I saw a grant for that I thought might work in Hicksville. And it's called a storybook walk. So I have some, I, I did a little, Stream of Consciousness FAQ for you so you can see this. Um, so the grant is from the Ohio Department of Natural Resources and it was sent over to me by um, the... I'm sorry, I guess it's I should keep it for myself in case I'm using it. Here, I have one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I was talking with the new United Way person, Abby Wolfram, and she sent this grant my way and, and thought that I might be interested. So I approached Defiance and now I'm talking to you, the village to see if you might be interested in doing this in partnership with the library. So um, one of the things about the grant that I didn't realize until I read it a few times is that I can't submit the grant on my own as the library director. It has to be submitted by whoever owns the property um, where this project would happen. So a storybook walk is a, a pathway. Usually it's a sidewalk um, that's accessible and um, accessible to, for a wheelchair. There's parking nearby. And there's displays put along the walk, so they and there's pic 
pages of a picture book put in each display. So if you if you walk along, you can sequentially read the picture book as you're walking along. So it's a great multi-generational activity, and it gets people outside. There's one in Sherwood currently that, that um, the friends helped put in, and the friends of the Sherwood Library helped put in, and um, it's proven very popular. So I just wanted to throw this idea out to you and see if this is something you might be interested in partnering with us on. So I would serve as grant writer, um, and but, I, but the village would have to actually submit the grant. And I would get another community partner to sign on to provide the matching funds. So I was thinking about approaching either, either the Rotary or Johnson Memorial Library Funds. So I'm happy to answer any questions. So the timeline on this this month, so you need it right away then. Yeah. So the good news that I got today is that they're going to run another round next year. So um, we could, there is the possibility of postponing, trying to do it this year, or we can try and do it this year and postpone it, or postpone it to next year, or do both. So you probably have to know either tonight's meeting or next Well, meeting. I just need to know, you, you wouldn't have to sign any paperwork tonight, but you would have to give somebody on the council or some one of your officials authority to sign if you wanted to pursue this. And it would have Where's the exact location that you're thinking? Well, I was going to leave that up to the village. Okay. Um, I was thinking it would make sense in a park, but um, that's really up to the village to decide. If I can add something to Kara, we've been talking a little bit back and forth. Uh, we had a park board meeting here last Wednesday, and I presented it to the park board with the package and the, the concept and everything. Uh, we were all in favor. We thought it would be a neat enhancement for the park. But then also, you know, they were all okay and then working with her in some specific areas of the park. But then I was thinking about community-wide also instead of, you know, we have a lot of people that walk and, you know, take advantage of our, our downtown area. Um, there's some places I think we can add some other storybook because I don't think it has to be a specific 12 you know, feet apart or 100 yards apart or anything. Um, we can maybe spread them around town, you know, so can people sit up by the flag sometimes. And some of the restaurants, when people sit outside and talk, you see a lot of people gathering at certain restaurant venues in town. Um, there's some park benches and you know around town and different things like that. So I thought you know getting with Corey if if that's something that would be utilized, they would need us our personnel to actually place them, that's cement correct. them in the ground or whatever, um, or however they're going to be put. Um, and, and but they would need our help in that. If if you can calculate the dollar amount of that labor, that can be part of the copay too. But the, the most that the grant could get was ten is ten thousand dollars, so the most that the copay is going to be is two thousand dollars. So it's not big. Right. Can Can you tell me where Sherwood has theirs at? It's in um, the little reservation park, mm -hmm. um, kind of behind where the new fire station is. So it's all within the park. Yeah. Yes. Now on here it says that the entity that owns the land. Yes, that's correct. Uh, they're going to have to be the applicant. How? But how would that work? Like Mike brings up the point, if they were through downtown or. How, how would that actually work? Well, I th the town actually owns the sidewalks and the easements, so you could do it on that. I, I'm not positive that you would be able to put it downtown because I think one of the things they're looking for is to have each sign 40 paces apart. Right. And so I I don't know how you would, I mean, maybe that would be possible to do. But My concern on the, in, in the park is there's no sidewalks in the park. Yeah. Yeah. It's handicap accessible yeah. and Half the park is owned by Defiance County Metropolitan oh. Park, where we don't own anything on the west side of the road. Okay. So but I'm trying to think where you'd put it at. Ten grand will only get you if she's saying 40 paces between each sign. Ten grand will get you okay. one pace, one one section. And I mean, it would it'd be very. No, this is just the the signs, the signs. Not, not, the not, signs. Signs. Right. not the signs. So it says the cost of 17 displays is. They're already looking for, they're already looking for concrete to be in place where it's handicap accessible. They're just looking to put the signs in. Right. Oh well, then. But the, the sidewalk, the only sidewalk we really have over there is from Froggy Park to the pool, right. that the village right. owns, and that'd be a lot of signs and 17 signs and okay. that short distance. When I was first thinking about this. I have, I've only been in the park a couple of times. And so I wasn't aware that there wasn't. I knew that there was a walkway there, but I didn't know it wasn't paved. So um, the other option, if you are interested in pursuing this, is um, 
I know I'm a, I'm a member of the Rotary, so I, I, I swap between Rotaries. Sometimes I go to the Hicksville one, and sometimes I go to the Defiance. But last time I was at Hicksville, um, Shannon, who's the incoming president, was talking about the, that making putting a walkway in part of, the, of her Rotary project as she, while she was president. So um, I'm going to go to the Rotary tomorrow and talk with them and see about this too. But because uh, it's possible that it might get happen if they if they can commit to doing a walkway, I don't know what their resources are, but if they could commit to doing a half mile paved. Um, then this might all come together at the same time. Do you, do you know? Do you have to have the um, like the location and all of that as part of this grant? And so yeah. Here, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they want because they. I think um, they come out and do uh, actual walking search to make sure. So and they um, grant application. It is possible to do. Uh, both things, all things at the same time, but it says specifically in the grant it won't pay for sidewalks. So, um, I'm just thinking, trying to think of somewhere big in Hicksville where you'd be able to scatter those, like the fairgrounds or something. There's right, a lot of people that right. you got blacktop all the way around the whole area, and there's a lot of kids that take their bikes and walk. High school track. Uh, you can't track. get a wheelchair in the turnstile. <laughs> take it out. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, with such a short notice and, and uh, the amount of things that we have going on, we should. We should thank this young lady very much for presenting it, but we should look at next year. Uh, yeah, timeline. Trying to think of uh, where. Yeah. Trying to think of a location. Yeah, and and that would give the Rotary time if if there was you know if they thought there was a possibility of having a project, it would give them time. And the park board's been one to yeah. trail around there forever. Yep. I think I think we're just the timing's not right. I don't think. But yeah. but if we could put it off till next year. year yeah, if we had the facilities, it'd be great. Yeah. Is there a guarantee it's going to be there next year? Well, he didn't guarantee me. I asked him, because I thought this was going to happen. I thought there's no way we're going to be able to pull this together at this point, even though I wanted to make a good faith effort towards that. Um, and so I asked him that. And he didn't say it guaranteed. He just said it, that the current plan is that the, the, the grant will be offered again next year. That's what makes me a little nervous, because it's a great project. I'd like to see it happen. But timing's a little closer. Yeah. Is that the council's wishes to wait? I don't know where else we could put it. You know, if we had a place to I put mean, it, would be great. The drive itself acts as a walkway a lot along the side of the drive. That's an option. Because you'd have to walk them up the right side and walk them back down the left side because there's nowhere to go once you get up there. Unless you I mean, come the back into stone. The road itself, you mean? Yeah. And I don't know if that would be a safe environment if you're standing on the side of the road reading a board and cars are coming through. I mean, they probably want it off. Yeah, they're reading a the book and they complain about kids on cell phones, so well, there's not a lot of difference. <laughs> Just didn't know. They have to be that, the distance is critical, or that's yeah. what I was trying to think that's if right. you yeah. incorporate yeah. the whole town with them. Right, right. Does it have to be a half mile? No, path? it can be longer than that, but it can't be shorter. Do you have anything, Kent? Come on, I seen your. I think spreading it out around town, you know, because I don't keep track of where you're going. I don't know how much your walking pass going to cost. That's something you're going to need to know before you commit to anything. Mm -hmm. Because you're paying that. This is only for the staying. Right. right. Until you know where your walking park is or whatever you want to call it. I don't know how you can decide to anything. I've been to the one at Sherwood, and yeah, it's nice. I'm not opposed to that, but... Yeah, and they put theirs in without a cement walkway, um, mm -hmm. because they did it privately. They didn't get to it through a grant. So, um, I mean... What, what part are they using? They bought... They, it's just like a dirt pathway. Oh, that's permissible? Well, it's not... It's They didn't do it you getting a grant from the Ohio did. Department of Natural Resources. They sure. paid for it on their own. So um, the friends did a fundraiser and yeah. paid for all of it. Okay. So, um, but they couldn't afford to put in a sidewalk. So, I mean, now I, they did that for four years ago, and now I'm trying to help them get a sidewalk again because it's really hard to navigate with a stroller. Um, but um, so it's something. So what we're talking, I'm talking with that bridge manager about doing is selling bricks um, and having a brick sidewalk with people's names on it. And, um, we're not going to be able to do that for the whole length of it, but we'll be able will to. That, will that uh, be acceptable for ADA? 
I haven't crossed that bridge yet. <laughs> I think you need to cross that one. <laughs> I, I just started working with her on it, so we haven't gotten that far. Yeah. And I don't know if we could put like blacktop or something or what, if there's like some special requirement for, mm -hmm. me for that. I, I, yeah, I've been on um, park pads that I know were designed for ADA, and they were like packed. They must have used like granite dust or stone dust, and they packed it down mm -hmm. real hard. Um, but that's, I think you have to have special like equipment to do the work like that. So, um, anyhow, so I guess what I'm asking for tonight is I just wanted to present the idea, answer any questions. Uh, if you did want to pursue trying to do this this year, I would need you to make a motion to authorize some one of you or one of your staff members to sign for it. And um, if you want to postpone to next year, that's fine too. Uh, I am going to talk to the Rotary tomorrow. And, um, Can you get back with us on that after sure. the Rotary? Yeah. I should probably wait. And see. I, yeah, I think it's just it's just too much too soon. We just don't On the have timeline, time. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and I apologize. When I first started this, I thought there was a there was already a walkway there, so that nice. was my fault. Makes <laughs> <laughs> sense. Thank you. Oh, yes, I'm sorry, you. but please don't forget us. I will not. Okay. <laughs> thank you very much. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a resident. I will forget you. Okay. 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 Thank, thank you. you. Right. Thank you. Okay. Um, Need your approval for the July 19th regular council meeting minutes. Any additions or corrections? I so move. Second. Second. Oh. Roll call. Which way? Oh yeah. Everly. Yes. That's it. Abstain. Martin. Yes. Barth. Yes. Lepper. Yes. Uh, you have before you the uh, the bills. I need for your approval. Any questions? The truck we got from uh, Schmidt. Uh, we couldn't get that through state purchasing. For my town. What? No, we couldn't. Why not? Why, I'm talking to you. Why not? Oh, I have no idea. This is. Way before me. Oh this yeah. Thing has been on order for, I imagine, quite a while. Jim doesn't, and state purchasing at the time we ordered it did not offer that type of truck. Just get a standard cab four wheel drive. Standard cab. Standard cab. Yeah, two fifty. Well, that'll give him some place to sleep. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's that big. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of like the street department. As far as the cab, That'll last one a long time. Any other questions? I don't have anything. I'll entertain a motion to Thank accept so. a second. I'll second that. Roll call. Marth? Yes. Pepper? Yes. Bassett? Yes. Beverly? Yep. Ridgeway? Yes. Martin? Yes. Okay, next on the agenda, boards and commissions. I, there's no minutes submitted unless somebody's got something to present. Um, Council. I, yeah. I put the park board minutes. They don't have a title on them, but they came into my email tonight right before the meeting started. Okay. So that's from that. That could be discussed on the department. department. Mm -hmm. but it's okay. We'll do that then. Okay, uh, committee reports. Water and Sewer Committee met twice. You guys are busy. Busy, busy. As you can see, the first one we sent out uh, the third and kind of final letter out to the residents of Haven Drive that are still uh, addressing their easement issues, trying to get them to remove um, those items and get them back across the easement section. Um, Mike sent those out, I think, here. Troy did it. Mike sent them out. I think Thursday or Friday of last week, and I'm not sure if he's heard back from anybody. Uh, number two there, energy optimizers. I know the mayor was there, um, ahead of minutes. It's in your packet also. If you guys could pull the energy optimizer uh, contract kind of uh, proposal. that for us. Um, came to town, at first we kind of talked about solar, 
some solar options maybe for the village and then in the process um, you guys kind of do a, full, a broad range of different project, projects and services. Um, they came and presented. Uh, they had three individuals there. You see in my minutes. Um, as we were talking to them and kind of taking a look at our entire infrastructure for the city, all the buildings, the pumps, the substations, everything, uh, we kind of thought it was a good idea to have them kind of go through and do a energy audit for everything with our utilities and the way they run their extra, you know, this kind of spells out here. I don't think they missed anything because we asked them to kind of take a look at everything. I know they toured the sewer plant that day. Um, we run a lot of power through that plant with the time, much as it, much as it works. But in the process, they kept the same kind of cost, but broadened their range of scope with uh, all the projects. Um, we were giving your kind of Boston, we were all okay with it. Um, the they were, they were very enlightened. Uh, they, they told the things, uh, uh, you know, maybe the reason we have a, a $10,000 power bill at, at the sewer plant, we might not even be running the right pumps. Uh, and they gave a, a different uh, references to sewer plants that they've been into, that, that and they're even putting names this long on certain types of pumps that do this or do that, and, and uh, their, their cycles, their megahertz, and everything else, and and uh, yeah, okay, take a look at them. And they're they're thinking just from taking a look, they're taking they can save us money. The only thing is, we may have to spend a lot of money to change out motors, and yes, the drawback yes. we got to yep. take in consideration. That's my only. I was at that meeting. That was but but if you if you're Roughly, and, and it's not 10000 every month, but let's just say ballpark, you're spending $120,000 a year just for electricity. But we definitely need to look at it. So, so any thoughts, Council? You want that company to come and explain more? They were supposed to be here tonight. Right. But they had brought back, and I talked to the young lady that was here, and they said, they, <coughs> Kirsten, she said they probably weren't coming. Um, but they, like I said, resubmitted a, a more detailed plan of what they were going to take a look at. Um, and if we were okay to roll with it, they would uh, get get signed up to come to town and start looking at things. So they, we've done a lot of things over the course of time with smoke studies and GIS systems, and you know we're really trying to get a, a hold of all the infrastructure with the water and sanitary and. and um, you know, we, we spent a ton of money on studies, audits, a bunch of things um, over the course of time. But, you know, I think if we don't do it now, I think it's something we maybe want, want to do. You know, it's not something that's been budgeted, of course, in the, in the I don't know where you would spread it out because you're, you're kind of taking a look at, you know, the pool and the water and the sanitary, the buildings and everything. But um, if we don't do it now, I think we should do it sometime in the near future. Um, you know, like this company come in, they also will help not purchase, but help you pick the right equipment to buy and, and things of that nature. It's not like they give you an audit and say goodbye, thanks, thanks for the time, you could save money. Um, I think they're gonna be more due diligence and, and not buying it through them, they're gonna, you know, they don't sell that stuff, but they will help you pick out the right equipment. But, but they are affiliated with companies that do carry the units that, that might possibly be of interest to us and, and can hook us up with them. It won't, won't be like us just going to Fort Wayne and, and uh, going to uh, uh, National Pipe or something. I mean, we're going to be dealing with somebody that deals with them so that they'll know exactly what we want. I'm very familiar with them. I've dealt with them. They spoke before. quite highly of you. Oh. Yeah, I've dealt, dealt with them a lot. Uh, lighting optimizers, what they start off with, and then energy optimizer. Uh, Greg, I remember it's now, Greg Smith's the owner, Melinda's the vice president. They've done all the energy upgrades at uh, Fairview Schools recently in the last couple of years. They've done uh, the solar field for the school. They've done all their exterior lighting at the school, interior lighting, their turnkey operation. They do all their uh, energy audits. They'll let you know your return on investment, how long it takes to pay back. and. They've even let the school um, sign up for the contract where 
we're going to save, let's just say, ten thousand dollars a year, and it's going to cost an eighty thousand dollar project. They would budget it for eight years, where you're actually only paying your savings mm -hmm. to them uh, over ten years, and so you pay for your project with your with your savings. And they'll do it, set up a small uh, loan for that if you're if you'd like to have a small payment plan set up once a year. Or, every so many months so no they've always been real great uh, if they miss anything and it's their fault they don't ask they never ask for another dime they have no yep. change orders ever they, they take care of it whether it's their fault they miss something they, they take care of it so but then from, can you from you dealing with them oh, I'm sorry really? you like so are they actually doing the work to yeah, by, by what I look at it's just that they're, they're just doing the study on this one here. out the school are they actually performing yeah. work they uh, subcontract out some of them the work and they did some of the work internally yeah. okay yeah now you changed all the bulbs, right? But you had a grant that 18, first time around they furnished all the bulbs, right? So we're AEP here. There, there's uh, well back then there was a lot of incentive money from uh, right. retrofitting light bulbs right. for metal halide sodium to LED, and we took advantage of a lot of that. Right, because that's the not there LED. right now. Correct. Yeah, everything's LED throughout the whole. No, I mean, no, I mean that all the incentive money. money. Yeah. I think AEP's pulled a lot of the incentive. Uh, yeah. At one time there was a lot of money going from T12 to T8s. And now they got rid of all the money for T12s because you should have already done it by now. Uh, lighting controls, occupancy sensors, we've done all sorts of, stuff, of grant stuff through AEP. And yeah, they help with a lot of the projects too, so. Okay, what's your thoughts? Do we have, I mean, obviously there's it's a, a sizable amount of money. However, if we're going to do this, the cost for all these upgrades is gonna be rather sizable as well. So we're gonna, I mean, we wait till next year to budget to do the study, then we're another year away from improvements, most likely, unless we're just throwing hypotheticals in there for uh, for capital improvements. Is it, I, I mean, how would we fund? Where would that money come from if we're if we choose to do that? Just the general. You mean fund? the twenty-two thousand dollars for the study? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, guys. Twenty-two thousand dollars is a lot of money. I never, we've never had to pay for a study, but most ours was always lighting, and I know they did the lighting part for free. Yeah, went through on thir this past Thursday. Yeah. We went through. And I mean, we spent the whole year all the employees with no raise, and then you want to spend twenty-two thousand dollars on a study that's going to be more money in the future. Future's fine, but like right now, you guys tell me where you want it to come from. It's not in the budget. If we did just the sewer plant, you could take it out of the sewer fund, right? Right. But if you do the other part, that's what you're saying. Some of them come Everybody out of the general. Everybody has to give it up out of their money. That's the only fair way to do it. So mostly it looks like your you know, street department, I mean, a lot of that would be street department and sewer department, right? If I'm looking at that correctly. Um, I guess fire station, station, police station. The pool costs a pretty good chunk of money to yeah. circulate all those pumps and everything all the time. I don't know if those are on BFTs or anything like that. Well, with 14 weeks, I think we need to take a hard <laughs> look at that pool. Yeah, personally. Um, but how long is this number good for? Did so they give an expiration on there? No, I guess it would be good for at least 30 days. I mean. I was uh, with, with what, what all they said they were going to do for us, and and, uh, and and like I say, they they impressed me, and and I know that Eric's impressed with them, uh, and I know Cheryl says that's a lot of money. Yes, it is a lot of money, but it sounds cheap to me for what they're going to do, and the savings that are that are possible to come from this experiment. I, I know we've spent uh, spent and sent a whole lot more money than this to uh, define for projects that never ever transpired in lots more money. I guess my, my only concern on it is they, they do a great job. I've never had to pay for an audit, but you know you spend twenty two thousand dollars and they come in and tell you you need to make all these changes and it's three hundred thousand dollars to make the changes well but she had talked to uh, uh, not she he said was, what was who's what Dave, was his name Dave. Dave. yeah yeah Dave. david said that there's a, there was a, a chance that, that they could they won't get the grants for us but they can tell us where the grants are and what they are available for uh, or maybe he did say he'd help with them did he i thought they said they would help okay them. okay 
Uh, so, you know, there might be grant monies out there that, that people like them know about that other... Maybe, maybe he can come in next council meeting and talk to us. We can he said he would. Questions. Sure. Yeah, I thought they were going to be here, so... Is that what well, council thought, would like to see? But I thought the energy audit is, like, say you have to upgrade a motor and it's going to cost you 50000 to upgrade it, but they're going to show you before you buy that $50,000 motor. <laughs> Lost my oxygen. Man. <laughs> <laughs> They were going to save you eighty thousand dollars in electricity over that course of maybe a, a, a ten-year time span or a five-year, and then you can decide: is it worth the money to spend fifty now or not? That's true. That's how you know. Do it. It's the savings down the road. I mean, I can't see why we'd change a pump out if there wasn't going to be no savings whatsoever. I mean, what right. and and we can pick and choose. Uh, you know, if they said, well, you, like Taylor said about the pool, if they said, well, you, you're going to spend uh, 600000 down there just on pumps and stuff, mm, no, we're not. <laughs> we're going to walk away from it. You know, we can pick and choose what we do. Uh, if the only thing that we do is, is concentrate on the sewer plant to get that ridiculous bill down. I think it would be good for knowing the plant what and the pool. Knowing we've already talked do. about building a Metroplex, so why would you yeah. need these other buildings? Well... This, this is a proposal. I mean, we can go <laughs> back to him and say you concentrate on our main energy users right now: right. the pool, the sewer plant, and I don't know, maybe the, the water, water treatment plant. plant. Yeah, water, water treatment, and say, well, give us to just look at those three main buildings. What's it going to cost us? I mean, we have electricians in, in town that come in and do our lighting on our own kind of thing. Let's, uh, just a thought. Well, this is just a plan, though. So sure. twenty-two thousand five hundred. Uh, we still have to figure out if we want to. Uh, I think. I would say I'm in favor of the audit. We obviously have to figure out how we're going to pay for it, mm -hmm. where that right. money's going to come from. And I, frankly, if we're going to do the audit, I'd like to I'd like to see it happen before the end of the year, yes. so then we can budget for yes. capital improvements if it makes sense to do those things. And do you think you can get Dave to come in next council meeting? Mike, go ask him. Yeah. Why don't we do that? Why don't we concentrate on getting him in here, and and so that everybody has a chance to to find seek seek and find what they are curious about, and and then it won't be a bunch of uh, I thinks. Everybody do their homework. Cheryl, Cheryl, Cheryl do, do you think it would make sense to sit down, with the financial committee, or is it going to do any good us discussing it if it's all the other departments? If it's going to come out of the other departments, can you look at their line items to see if? They have money for their portion of it. <laughs> well, I'll definitely have to do that. <laughs> well, here again, I'm going to fight a little bit and yell at me if you want. One department's not got any money left at all, so they're not going to pay anything, now, are they? I won't mean me. And ideally, so when he does the budget, which usually once by the 1st of October, you ought to have some numbers to plug in there. They get this study done that quick. Eight to twelve weeks. So it needs to happen. See, their original proposal was for put twenty-two grand just to do the sewer plan. All right. But now they can do the whole town for twenty-two. Oh, right. What was the original? Uh, Fast talk. Hey, that's <laughs> well, I made him a deal. That's not what you're saying. Hey, that's the really the the sense. Mm -hmm. the Extra five hundred bucks to do the rest of the town. <laughs> well, for our original twenty-two. Buy one, get one. Yeah. I eat 12 weeks is cutting it for your budget. Okay, what's your thoughts? Let's see about getting them here next meeting. I will give them a call and see if they can be here. What's the next meeting, August? 16th. Uh, 16th. Yeah. 16th. 16th. Cheryl, I'll touch base with you and then we'll get a financial committee meeting. <coughs> Okay. Anything else, Mike? Any questions for Mike? Committee? No. Okay. Ordinance committee. Charlie. We met uh, last Tuesday and came up with a couple of different things to add to the ordinance. The first thing was uh, 45 days was a reasonable time period when delays did not exist. Uh, any delays were going to be discussed with the village administrator. And then just to simplify our lives, we're going to word the repair requirements and decide to include that the road must be repaired according to ODA specs. Anybody so, have any questions? Did you guys talk about the bonding? Yes. Yeah, we're going to keep it the same. 
So Troy, if everybody's happy with that. And bring something back at the next meeting. Yeah. Any other questions? Anything else, Charlie? Good work, thanks. Um, I guess next is the sell the land. There was a email in the packets. Any questions on that? Is everybody up to speed on what's going on? The auction is August 28th. Those are turning. I said you wanted it done quick. We're getting it done. I don't know. It's the golf course, right? Pardon? They're having the auction on the golf course. Yes, sir. The other place was not, uh, gathering place was not available. It's Bruce exclusively, right? Yes. <clears throat> Any other questions? Anything and else you want to add? Seen, I think you all seen the rate that we got to do it. Very reasonable. Plus expenses. Plus expenses, yes. And I, I talked to Bruce. He's got to get POs, Cheryl, before he just spends it. Uh, he knows that. Yeah, and I talked to him about it, but he told me that he wanted to just go ahead and pay for everything like he normally does and then just present one bill and one PO for that. Will that work? When it's already spent. I don't know. I told you about it the other day and you never said nothing. Yes, we did. We talked about purchase orders, and I told Bruce, too. If he already spends it, then... He told me he would okay. when I talked to him. Get individual POs for every ad, every... Things change. Has it been discussed? This, I guess, has Abbott had any strategy or how far out he's going or anything as far as advertising? Or he just kind of run with it? He told me he's going to go over in Indiana, over that way, Fort Wayne, and that. Put it out there. I don't know any. He's you know. got he's got the contacts for everybody that belongs to the Fort Wayne Home Builders Association mm -hmm. and different areas of Home Builders Associations that he's going to try to saturate. And That's what it's going to take. Yep. Okay. Any other questions? I, comments not for that but i do have one well we had a personnel meeting okay at a personnel meeting at 5 30 today so that's why i don't have any minutes yet notes uh we had talked about three different things one was a personnel issue dealing with uh, behavior and using the computer a little too much uh, so we discussed that and another one dealt with uh, ken miller when he retired and took one from full time to part time uh, he has sick time that is supposed to be paid out, and since he went to part time, we want to know about paying. He want to know about paying him out at his normal full time rate, not his part time rate. And the three uh, committee members all agree that that's what should happen. So, she agree with it, and that happened. She wasn't at the meeting. We told her she I invited her to the meeting. She wasn't there. Did not. I emailed you and you and you and Corey both same day. Didn't know that was an invitation. Yeah. <laughs> so that was our that was our vote three to zero, and then the only other one was uh, Cheryl's supposed to be meeting with the insurance Orma August oh, the 10th. 10th. That's what I thought. August 10th, and uh, after we figure that out, we're going to discuss for next year raises for uh, village employees. And that was all we discussed. Okay. Any questions for Eric? Comments? Okay. Thanks. What Cheryl's thought on the paying out? Sick time. That's fine with me. He earned it while he was. Oh, I'm sure. Okay. Administrator's report. <clears throat> Corey. Um, home brink excavating had ran into some issue and it asked for an extension so they were granted a five-day extension um, Friday the 6th is the, the deadline for them to finish up with us to the water line um, we did take delivery of our new uh, 2021 F-350 pickup truck for the sewer department uh, Wednesday it'll go in to get the new radio and stuff put in Bob Aaron will put the radio in it and then on the 11th it goes to somewhere over in Indiana to Line X. The uh, four dealers are going to take it over there to get a spray and bed liner put in it. Um, and then like I said earlier, Energy Optimizer Optimizers did the uh, 
the lighting audit back on the 29th of July. Um, and then we are anticipating uh, working with Bruce Guilford for September 11th to do um, a public auction. He's got a bunch of bicycles and stuff that needs to go, and the garage out here has some odds and ends stuff in it. So, what's the date? September, September 11th. And then the 2006 um, F250 pickup truck that Sewer Plant had actually the, the engine went out in it the other day. So they're coming back from Kaleida from dropping off the new truck to have lighting put on it and the motor locked up in it. So. That'll be up for grabs. Put it in the auction. I wanted to ask you guys, do we want to put it in the auction or do we want to have that separate and do sealed bids for that? Because I really don't want to move it two times. The body shop will come get it and move it from the Ford dealer. We'll take it down to the sewer plant or they can haul it right to Omnisource. Or if we wanted to, I think somebody could get some use out of it if they had. You could put it on Gov Deals too if you wanted to. Somebody so they sell a lot of them and means to fix it. It yeah. makes somebody a pretty decent. And truck. then they just have it at the sewer plant and just tell them, "Hey, you got to come pick it up." And we got the money out of the uh, the old sewer sewer truck. Mm -hmm. We sold that at auction, right, Ken? I sold it. I sold you know, the old water van. Sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I sold a couple of vehicles that day. Yeah, I. I did. Deals would work, or I didn't know if you'd have to pass legislation if you go to the sealed bid route. Uh, the sealed bid would, would be the least of the three, I would say. Either just included in an auction that we're already having, that we're going to, you know, when Bruce does it, or just throw it up on Gov Deals and let them then We've already passed that ordinance for the year. And just, I think Cheryl said Mike that might usually do that or something when we've done it. So. I think I one question for Troy on the reference our bicycles. I think we have to advertise. Do we yeah. not? Yeah. How many days do we have to advertise that for? Um, I have to look specific, but I, off the top of my head, I don't know that answer. Unless anybody else knows it. it. Seems like it was only ever advertised a couple of times. So I'm not sure there is a specific, but I'll get you an answer tomorrow. Okay. Do you get any numbers on paving? I took a gentleman through from Tri-State, talking about all the side streets for the spot paving. I have not heard back from him yet. He was hoping to have everything back to me on Friday. And the only number for paving I got was for Charlie for that repair on Bryan Street for that cut through and passed that on to him. That was from Steve Loop. But I'm still waiting. Back for the village? No, it was for the homeowner. Okay. I'm sure I would go ahead to have um, Amber Dreer have her money, you know, Honorable issued back to her. Yeah, seems like it's sitting okay. But no, I have not received a number for all those locations. Owen Brink on on High Street. I know they asked for a stitch for the water line. I've had some businesses out there say, when are they going to be done? When are they going to keep be done? But I keep reminding them that once the water line's done, they're going to start on the storm line and extend it pretty much um, from like Chicago up to the police department there. Right. They got a fire start right on that right away since they already got it <laughs> mobilized still and hopefully that can go through smoothly. I mean, I know Completely we're still there. Completely it is. Okay. Do we have a actual deadline for this project? For the whole project? Does it have to be complete? And uh, is there penalties associated? Two dates, right, Ken? It wasn't in October, you said? August, August and November? For the sewer. August 1st was the water. When's the sewer? October 1st. We gave them a week extends until this Friday for the water to be hooked up and floating. Repair is not is repair part of that, or no? Mm -hmm. No, as long as the water is flowing, they admit the terms of the okay. contract. Yeah, the restoration order. Have they passed all their tests? Have they done the, the uh, sanitation, chlorine, and pressure, and everything? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So they, so they, the legally they're flowing now. <coughs> if they don't have no, the taps well, in. Well, yeah, they hooked up the West End today. I think tomorrow they're going to hook up Chicago Avenue and again. Everybody's tied in there. They've got all the all the taps in. Uh, I think. I know they were having some issues last week. I don't know if it got resolved today or not. I wasn't around to talk to the water department. I know today they were 45 feet short of pipe. So they had to run, make a run at Toledo to get to get more pipe. I know today when I left, Jesse, she was there to probably 5 o'clock with them. So. Okay. Hmm. Any other questions for our slob? Administrator, Corey. <laughs> okay, so back to, back to the truck. Is that something we just want to put in our auction if we have it on the 11th, or? I would just throw on gut deals. I agree, deals. put on gut deals. Put more exposure that way. Okay. You got everything you need, Corey? Yes. Okay. Solicitor. Troy. <laughs> uh, the other thing I have is resolution 2021-09, uh, third reading by caption only, a resolution for the village of Hicksville, Ohio to rehire Troy Essex as village solicitor for the village of Hicksville. This is the third reading already? Yeah. <laughs> I'll make a motion to approve. Second. I'll, I'll be happy to second that. Roll call. Beverly. Yes, ma'am. Ridgeway. Certainly. Martin? Yes. Bassett? Yes. Barth? Yes. Clipper? Yes. Congratulations, Troy. Thank you. So, any other questions <laughs> for our solicitor? So, no, Charlie's out of a job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, department heads, police chief. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm used to being sworn. So, today is my first day officially back in full time with Packins. Uh, thank you all for your support. Uh, during my time of need. Uh, so obviously we swore in Sierra this evening. She will start August 11th uh, with us. Uh, so for the month of July, they worked 213 cases. They had 381 calls for service. Uh, Back. Yes. Yeah, welcome back. Thank you. Any questions for the chief? Do you have any officers on on leave right now? Anybody else? Or everybody's back? You got back to full capacity? Well, we're still going down because Chris Taylor quit, so she'll replace him. Right. Besides like, vacation, people on vacation. Okay, so everybody's healthy and doing all good. Yeah, as far as I know. <laughs> so, great. You're in our prayers, Chief. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks, Chief. Thank All you. right. Okay. Um, fire EMS, I don't see anybody here from there. Hey, committee, you have anything? Must be running smooth. Park Director, Mr. Altman, you've got representative? No, nothing to report. Okay. Um, the minutes are in here. We can go over this. Have you any questions on the minutes? You typed, you're the secretary, right? Yeah, you typed them yeah. 14 links? Yes. Are, are they... Typo? <laughs> no. Is it worth the fix? The, the pool? Yes. The Val made it sound like it was. I think it was $1,100. Is that no. the price? That, I don't know. Off is that what you heard? I, didn't, I never I heard a price. $1,100 to repair the leak, so... Does, does anybody know where it's leaking? In the same pool. place. <laughs> Same place as last year, or the ladders. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. But I think it's in here. She's going to get estimates for a new line. Yes. Yeah. How long has that been in there? Long time. Yeah. Like yeah. 20 years. Uh, it's been more than that. Anyway. Okay, long yeah. time. Uh, they got a new liner. Uh, we took the liner out when I fixed the the drain and turn line. Uh, took that liner out then. 
I've been out of business 22 years. Okay, and so, so it's done well. 25 or 30 years ago. That's a good life wow. for a liner. Heck yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. I think it's being well used. As she said, the attendance has been up. A lot of people, kids are using it. And I know it's we had, it's uh, and some of you guys might not know it, but we used to have a, a uh, little fund that we were saving up to redo it, build a new pool. And uh, during the hard times, uh, we used that money. But I think it would be a great thing to entertain starting another one. Even if even if we're not putting you know thousands away every year, if we could just put something away every year, but sooner or later the thing's going to die. Yes. That was back in '08. Yeah, it was over two hundred fifty thousand dollars, but that got us through that financial. Yep. But yeah, is there any thoughts of doing a, a levy for a pool instead of a what? What's that? School levy. No, no, doing a levy for the for a pool. Some communities do that, where if their town wants to have a new pool, have one up and running, that they'd go to the taxpayers, and ask them if they want to fund a, a new pool. We could try that. I mean, the village still pays to maintain it and pays staffing sure. to be there, but but that would be gradual funding; it wouldn't be just a lump sum. So. Right. We'd have to probably. Yeah, that's a good point. We would have to take it. We would have to, have to take a loan. Out yes. And, yep. and then let the levy pay the loan back. Right. right. Okay. Well, it sounds. Like, I mean, it sounds like there's obviously some several projects that need to want to. The park wants to see happen. But Maybe just a park levy. Yes. If we're going to go the levy route, I think it would make sense to. That's part of the plan. Part of the park levy. Yeah. Good idea. Right. Yeah. Okay, any other comments? And who's going to follow up on that? Park board? Or park board? There's a question here as far as who's in charge of creating bylaws. Do we have bylaws for the, what the park, park board's responsibility no. is? No. That was brought up at that meeting. <laughs> I just kind of set out what the park board's mission is, not mission, but responsibility. Yeah. Are we planning on drafting bylaws for the park board? They're going to, the park board's going to get some from other towns and then they're going to look at it and then they'll present it to us. Yes. So they're going to draft their own bylaws? I think that was the question is who is responsible for drafting the bylaws? We, we didn't know. And I mean, I've just came on the last two months here and it's kind of a whirlwind of what's going on out there. <laughs> Normally, I would say since they're, I mean, they're in in effect basically like a committee of the, you know, of the village council of the village. I would say that the <coughs> council would be directing them how they want them to perform their obligations or whatever. I mean, we could have input from them certainly on what they see their role as and stuff. But as far as putting them down and saying, hey, here's what we expect of the people that are on there and whatever the rules are. That doesn't work too good when we say that. That's the way it's supposed to work, though. <laughs> <laughs> I know they've come. I mean, they get their funding from the village. And yeah. yeah. I know they've come to us before saying that you know they all voted for something and then we vote against it. You right. Know, like the last item that they have on their thing, they all oh, vote yeah. five zero for the story walk and. But. But we have that. Which is fine. Though. We got money. other things that we got to consider, like right. the budget and right. things well, like I that. And, I mean, it's one thing for them to approve an idea and think it's a great idea. And that's it's, what it was. We approved yeah. the idea, but we, we come up with the funding and sources right. and accomplished about a sidewalk in the park. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely. I mean, their money comes just like the sewer department's money. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. so they got a budget and everything's got to come ultimately through us for approval. Just like it does in the other departments. So, but basically, they're they're headed in the right direction. They're going to put something yeah. together. Bring yeah, and then we can bring them, bring them to me, whoever, sure. and then we can look at them and try and, um, you know, get something put together. And but ultimately, it's you people's decision to yay and nay or make a suggestion to add this or whatever. And then once they're passed, then they'll just that's that's the rules they'll live by. Mm -hmm. And that's what they need is direction. Which is kind of what the, the only bylaws since I've been here that I remember is the EMS and the fire and stuff have bylaws that they've yep. amended from time to time or whatever and they've kind of suggested changes and got it to the committee and I made some changes to them and whatever and then we approved them here. 
So something similar to that. I'm meeting with Lindsay, I think, Thursday at 930, and I'll bring this up. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Mike, do you have anything nope, else? Good. Okay. Yeah. Cheryl, fiscal officer report. I'm going to have your usual fund status report, which is still looking pretty good. And I want you to look at the coronavirus um, relief fund that still has 30000 in it. It has more rules than the other one, but um, we still need to spend that by the end of the year. Nothing like a quiet uh, energy study or anything? <laughs> no. Well, well, it's it's like a swimming pool. Oh. <laughs> Some, I mean, a lot of places. Do. This be coronavirus related. Sidewalks. 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 People be outside. Yeah. <laughs> if you look at the uh, cash summary by fund, so far this year our revenue was um, 3.2 million, and look on the expenditures, 3.8 million. Department. Mm -hmm. You have the Mediacom franchise fee report for um, April through June. You have your income tax and utility collections report. And if you notice, the numbers are very odd with this um, income tax, although it's good overall because the federal government kept moving tax state last year and then this year. And so last year you noticed that in May, when it was due, we were 99% over the year before, and now we're 21 percent lower than last year because they changed the date later this year. So it's not Kim; it's the government, and that's all I have. Yeah, and I, I asked Cheryl. Our general fund dropped quite a bit, made me a little nervous. So she explained. It's just the timing with the taxes coming in. Yeah, we did the transfer, and then taxes won't come in until next month. Yeah, so that'll, because it was 1.4 million, and went down to 700,000, and I thought, whoa, what happened? So that's. Could you give us a couple of, yes. uh, for instances, Cheryl, what the money can be spent on? <laughs> <laughs> equipment, salaries. It has to be code related. Someone has to be off work and gets paid anyway because they have COVID. You can do anything that has to do, like we have put in the um, bottle filler, the toilets that um, you don't touch, the, all of our dispensers hanging on the walls, stuff like that, masks. Can it be used for economic stimulus? Narrowly. I saw the paperwork it in the mail. Christmas cruise through is coming up soon, so it won't be long. It may start in October. So they're going to need lots of volunteers. Uh, so I encourage everybody to help out because that's a lot of work for them. Uh, August the 12th is the last concert series. Uh, the last one, I think there were over 100 people there, so well attended. And the last one's going to be Water to Wine again. And I want to thank the sponsors this year for that. That's the Hicksville Bank, SMTA, and Kleffler Building, right? That's your name. Uh, to help pay a little bit to the band, so I want to thank them. So. Anything else needs to come before this council? Oh, something about the cruise through now. We talked about it last year a little bit. We had such an influx of people converging in our town to watch the fireworks night. Uh, we had talked about trying to help find designated areas where people can go because it was a, it was a mess. Um, I know the police department was inundated with things going on. It was a big one, so it was. Uh, we had talked about maybe some pre-designated areas where people can just go to a parking lot somewhere instead of trying to get to the fairgrounds. And I know everybody wants to go there first, but after that's full, that's a free-for-all, then roads get backed up. And it happens every year, but not to that scale. Um, it was worse last year. Yeah. Um, but we had talked about um, trying to work with um, 
cruise through committee and um, maybe getting with some other res uh, businesses in town if it had some openings and parking lots and everything where it could be pre um, designated and marketed that way to you know you go to this parking lot or that parking lot or this business and watch the fireworks from there and then come to the facility or the fairgrounds after they're over um, trying to alleviate traffic congestion and chief didn't we have a meeting with the sheriff's department last year after the fact or the yes and there was plans to meet I thought it was supposed to be July yeah that's what I would recall I'll get a hold of sheriff and see I think it was the Christmas producer that had their meeting in July was it supposed to I'm not sure okay but we what met the meeting was going to be yeah and then we were supposed to oh so I'm not sure who's really responsible for it. That was my understanding that we we're going to have a meeting in July. Okay. Well, we're a couple of days past, but so I'll get a hold of Denise and maybe the sheriff and see. Just don't let it happen again. I think it was the first fireworks we had for like a year and a half in Hicksville, and everybody from the brother came. I think a lot of it, but it's a well, nice. It's in the middle of COVID. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and it's, it's he's got a. He's, Really got a big name. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. So that's why I want to encourage people to volunteer uh, just to keep her encouraged. So I'll make a contact tomorrow. She's retiring. <laughs> she was? She's going to keep retiring. Yeah, but she's on vacation this week. With the what? From the from running the show. <clears throat> Didn't know that. I didn't So who's running it now? I don't know if they picked somebody or not. Jones. <laughs> First, I heard that. Nominated. Chatted on Facebook. No, well, I don't do Facebook. So, okay. Anything else needs to be brought before this council? You want to talk about the day in the park, chicken? Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> August fourteenth, we are doing a chicken dinner fundraiser. Um, it'll be from eleven a.m. to three p.m. And the chicken. We'll have a tent and everything set up. We'll be out in front of. Uh, in front of Red Angel, or you can get pre sale tickets yet this week. Okay. I make a motion to adjourn. A second. I'll second that. Roll call. <coughs> Mark? Yes. Bassett? Yes. Beverly? Yes. Flipper? Yes. Martin? Yes. Ridgeway? Yes. Uh,